In this set of examples, we're going to tackle addition of polynomials. So here we have our first problem, 3x plus 7 plus 9x plus 5. We're supposed to add these together, or another word for that would be to combine like terms. Now when we are adding, remember addition is both commutative and associative. So it really doesn't matter what order that you're doing it in. So if I were to drop those parentheses, this is the exact same problem. There is no difference. And this is just a combined like terms, like we've done before. So we have a 3x over here, and we have a 9x. We can combine our x terms to get 12x. And then we can also combine our 7 and our 5, just our plain number terms, constant terms. We can combine those, 7 and 5 would be 12. So our answer is 12x plus 12. Now just because we have decimals or fractions or anything else, it doesn't make any difference. We attack the problem the exact same way. When we are adding, it does not matter what order we do it in. Addition is both commutative and associative. So these parentheses really don't mean anything. We can rewrite the problem without the parentheses and then begin combining like terms. So our highest power of x here is the x cubed. So we're going to combine that. 1.2 of those plus 6.7 of those would be 7.9 of the x cubes. Now we're done with the x cubed, and we can move on to the next power of x, which would be the x squared. There are no other x squareds here to combine it with, so we just have plus 4.4x squared. Now next in the list would be our plain x's, and it looks like we only have this one plain x term here. So that means that we're going to have to write down the minus 3.4x. We don't have anything else to combine it with. Now we've taken care of everything except the constant terms, the plain numbers. So we can combine a 7.9 positive with a negative 10.9. And when we combine that, that gives us a negative 3. So this is our final answer because we cannot do any more combining. Now lastly, they talk to you about using a vertical format. I personally am not 100% crazy about the vertical format. It's not bad, it's you know, very easy to do, but we just don't normally see things in that format. Generally, whenever you're combining polynomials, you're going to see things written out left to right, not up and down. But let's go ahead and practice it just to be on the safe side. So we are adding these two things. Now notice how they have them lined up to where plain numbers are in line with plain numbers and our t squareds are in line with t squareds. We need that to be the case so that we can combine like terms. We can combine our plain numbers, the positive 4 and the negative 8, which would be a negative 4, and then we can combine our t squareds, 3 of them and 5 of them is 8 t squareds. And we cannot combine anything else, so we're done. That's our final answer.